Hello, I'm back. Hello, Rosie. Um, we are off to a show tomorrow for the weekend. First airway show of 2021 with both boys. Uh, really excited. We're off to Kiso. We were meant to be at Wellington International, but we didn't get in. Favoritism. Um, but yeah, we didn't get in. Um, so we're off to Kiso instead uh, for the whole weekend. So we're going tomorrow and jumping Friday, Saturday and Sunday in probably the most horrendous weather it's going to be high winds and raining which is absolutely typical um but yeah really excited uh, it's been a busy afternoon i got back from work at about half one um rately arena rode both of them um i then had to clip ryan and i've been packing all my stuff i literally haven't been inside yet and it's currently like half eight so yeah it's been a long afternoon but we've got pretty much everything ready so i'm just going to show you quickly and then i'm going to go in have some dinner and then i'll sort everything out in the morning because we're not leaving until about midday ish um so yeah here's a very miserable brian hey brian hey brian you're so miserable hey he's <laughs> so cute right and then we've got ryan who has just been clipped again you look very pretty ryan and then the lorry which is packed so Oh, pretty much packed. So, shavings down for the boys here. Uh, we've got some rugs up there, some stable rugs, a fleece in case they get wet, just to dry them off. Uh, excise sheets and another fleece. Over the back, we have hay, lots of hay, uh, four shavings, of course, Aventus, a wheelbarrow, and then some skips, water buckets and feed to go down there in the morning. I need to take their water buckets out of their stables, so that won't be done until tomorrow. And then in the lockers we have here are the lockers as you can see very full uh the boys bridles which i did clean my tack earlier as well that's another thing i did uh two saracen's buckets one with a sweat scraper and a sponge in it um, and the other was just empty their kentucky bibs their bandage pads all a pair each bandages that i need to run in the morning their girth so brian's girth and ryan's girth and their saddle uh half pads and then I have a hundred numbers. Obviously, um, a slight over exaggeration, but I literally am jumping eight classes this weekend. So I've literally got a number for each class because that's how many numbers I have. But you know what? It's a good thing. So, anyway, carrying on. Behind here, we have munchies. And then in this Farmer Queen pot, I actually have some of the mash, the recovery mash from Saracens. So that's in there for the boys after they jump. Uh, then we've got some fly bowls in here. I've got my Kentucky ones from Equicry. Make sure to order your Kentucky stuff from Equicry. And my Mormac one from my dad's company. And then I have some bandages, bandage pads, lots of boots, including my new boots, which I can't wait to wear, my Equifit ones. Uh, back boots. I still have other boots to pack as well, which are drying. Um, and then in here is just all that like, first aid stuff. So like some gut relief stuff, um, like any potions and lotions, some cooling gel for their legs, basically, basically anything you need in case of any emergencies. So that is the lockers, which I need to lock up. Um, and then inside, We've got massage rug, mum's clothes, and we've got our food and stuff in here as well. So yeah, that is about it at the moment. Um, obviously we're not completely finished packing yet, but we are nearly there. So I'm just gonna quickly look up the fat lockers and then I'm gonna go over and have some dinner because I am absolutely starving. And then I'll see you guys in the morning to finish packing and get going.
we are all set up. This is what it looks like. Got all the new drapes up. Got Will wear some hay nets there with a skip and fork broom. Got my door hangers. Here's Rai. He's got his teddy bear. They've just had their dinners now. Um, obviously, they've got the waters and the hay rubbed up. Same for Brian. He's just having his din dins. Then we've got our hay here, hay nets, um, bandage holder. And then we've got our bridle rack with our head colours on, um, another skip. They both got their teddies. This is gonna hang all the numbers on tomorrow. Um, this has got my grooming kit in it. My, all my grooming stuff is in here. Um, two water buckets, one is a wash bucket, one is a just normal water bucket. In here, I've got my bandages, stuff, like all my rugs and everything. So, yeah. So, we are in the lorry currently. Um, I've just had dinner. We had pizza and dough balls. Um, it is very windy outside, very windy. And it's due to be like 40, more than 40, about 50 mile an hour winds tomorrow. So I don't really know how we're gonna jump. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm wondering if maybe it'll be cancelled. We'll have to see how the first class goes in the morning. Because the winds is literally gonna be from like 5 a.m. until like 6 p.m. So like they're literally not gonna be able to jump any of the classes if they decide that. But hopefully the weather like drastically changes overnight and there's not wind. But considering how bad it is at the moment i don't think that's gonna happen um but yeah we just had some dinner uh just having a bit of a chill the boys are being fed i need to go over now take him for a long walk um yeah bandage them up and stuff like that it's about six o'clock so yeah we're all done and ready early thank god um yeah excited for hopefully a good weekend of show jumping um i'll obviously try and vlog as much as possible but i don't have the best storage at the moment so i also need to vlog as much as possible without vlogging as much as possible, if that makes sense. But yeah, see you guys in a bit. Taking the boys for a walk. Oh, he's in a poo! No! Taking the boys for a walk in the rain. The rain and the wind. So windy. Hello! Come to do night checks on the boys. Hi! Bandaged you up? We bandaged you. So we bandaged you. Yeah? Well, you're all wrapped up for bed. Bandaged up. Ready for bed? <laughs> hey, Brian. You ready for bed? Bandaged up. Ready for bed? Good morning. Um, I love you to hear me. It is freezing and windy. Um, just my luck. The lorry's not working. So from about seven o'clock last night, we haven't had any power really. Um, the leisure batteries in our lorry are dead, which you need um, for the power to work in the cup. So we know that we pay for her cup. The hook cup's not exactly working. Um, the only thing that's literally working is our um, charges and stuff because it's like on very little battery that powered and um, we started off like the water still working the water pump and like the tv still working the lights but now we are literally just down to the charges um nothing else is working not even the water pump is being powered so i haven't been able to have a wash this morning which is lovely um we're hoping that our friend that's got a car will be able to take us to get some leisure batteries um, today because it's only like 20 minutes away the drive, which obviously is not ideal, but we literally, there's no point in us even having a hook up really because we can't use it. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, we'll have to see, really. I'm just walking over now to feed and hay horses. Um, it's been a long night of wind. The lorry was actually rocking so badly. Um, so yeah, didn't get much sleep. Probably got a couple of hours sleep max.
all mucked out. Yes. Hello. Just taking the boys for a morning walk. Some grass. Here's the warm up. The arena's behind those bushes over there. It's going to be a very fresh day, I think. Very windy. Rise's turn. Ryan was a superstar. We jumped clear in the discovery, um, in the wind and the rain. And as I come over, number eight, the first part of the double, the second part, the plank fell down underneath of it. And bless him, he still jumped it, honestly. He looked down and I was like, oh my God, but he still jumped it, so I'm so happy with him. And another jump fell down as well, another part was going round. Bless him, took it all of his stride, could be happy with him. Um, spooky arena. And we even attempted some turns and he did them really well so yeah couldn't be happy with him just going to get some brian some of brian stuff now and then we'll go over start getting ready for the 110. hello good boy hello good boy right he's just got the massage rug on we are waiting for the 110 to start now um brian's jumping first and then brian so yeah
Professor Mash for going clear in both of his classes. He's on his way back now. Clear around machine. Oh, no, you've got to come in. Look, you've got mash. Look, look at mash. Oh, he gets some mash. Look, what's that? Right, I've got a oh, look. Mm. Yummy. Good morning. Um, it's day two of Keto. I'm really sorry about the lack of vlogging yesterday. My phone died um, at literally like three o'clock after I jumped Brian and I couldn't charge it in the lorry. We had to go over to the lorry to charge it and we didn't go over to the lorry so I couldn't charge it. Um, so yeah, I couldn't charge my phone. My phone died so I couldn't update you. Um, two seconds. Coming. But um, Brian jumped really well to be fair. Um, I jumped him in the 110 and 120. I haven't jumped him in the 110 in quite a while. But he's been very spooky. Um, I don't know, it's like with age, he's got worse. Um, he hasn't stopped or anything, but it's just really spooky. So I thought that the best decision would be to just put him in the 110 as well the first day, just to get him round. Um, and yeah, he was fine, he was a bit spooky, but he was a good boy. A little bit tense, but then he jumped a lot better in the 120. He had a pole and jump on the 110 at the water tray just because he looked down at it a little bit and just tapped it in front. Um, and then in the 120, he had the second to last down, which was a back bar in the jump off. Um, yeah, he just couldn't stretch for the back bar. Um, otherwise, he jumped really well. He would have won the class, which is frustrating. But I'm just going over now to sort of horses out in the morning, take them for a walk. Uh, Ruby's jumping by today. So, yeah, I'll do that and then I'll update you guys again. Taking Ryan some grass and a walk this morning. Before he jumps with Ruby. You guys being silly. Watch out. Hello. Rise his turn to go for a nice walk and some grass before we jump later on. I didn't get you guys earlier, so Ruby's done some riding today for me in the newcomers. Not because I don't want to ride him, because obviously I want to, but she's jumping him in the um, six year old classes, the Keys of International, which is 120. And um, I just don't really feel like I'm ready yet to jump 120, so Ruby's going to do that for me just to give myself more confidence. Just to give myself some more confidence um, to jump him, uh, because obviously I jumped him in the 120, it'll be his first 120 with me. And yeah, I just don't want to mess it up. So I thought I'll let her do it first, um, then it gives me the confidence to do it on him. Um, so yeah, she's jumping the 110 on him today. So obviously I'll just get him ready and stuff for her. And I'm gonna put the video in for you guys to watch. Um, and then I'm just jumping the 120 on Brian today, so I'm only jumping one class, which is nice and chill. Unlike like yesterday, jumping four classes. And then tomorrow I'll be jumping the newcomers on Ryan and then the 120 on Brian again. 
and then we will be going home. So yeah, the weather's um, better today, which is nice. No longer rainy and windy. A little bit of a breeze. It's a little bit chilly, but to be fair, it's not bad. So. Hey, bye. Hey. Sleeping, isn't he? Rizy's ready for his class. He's not, he looks half asleep, but yep, we're ready. Getting tacked up. Good boy. Brian went double clear of Ruby and the newcomers and come forth. Really, really pleased. Just gonna go over and get Brian ready now for the 120. It is, isn't it, some of them? Yeah, good girl. Is what? Oh, right, he jumped here in the 120, hopefully in the lead. Mash for the boys. Saracen's mash, being good boys today, clear round. Um, over the moon with Brian. Um, he jumped super, although we did get really lucky. The last double, he like whacked the t both parts where he stayed. Um, he won the 120 today. Just bringing the ice boots back that they had on, they've been fed bandaged, got their night hay, um, so I'm going to go back now and have some dinner, and then watch the 140, but yeah, really good day all round, both boys drunk clear, so yeah, just taking the boys for a late night walk and some grass, where they were both good today, Brian's first, so I'll take Brian, um, yeah, I'm really happy with them both today, they drunk, drunk unreal, 
Um, yesterday was a bit of an unlucky day for Brian, obviously, having a pole in both classes. But Ryan obviously jumped two clears yesterday, jumped clear today. Brian jumped clear today. So, so far we have a first, a second and a fourth, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, both, both boys being spoiled. Um, I'm jumping Ryan in the newcomers tomorrow. And then Brian's got the 120 again and then we're off home. So fingers crossed for another good day. Um, yeah, and then we'll be off home. A really happy first day I showed the year. They both jumped really well. Uh, Ryan's never been to Kyoto before, obviously. Um, so yeah, for him to take in the atmosphere, all the new jumps, the new arena. Um, really pleased with him. Didn't bat an eyelid. So yeah, really happy. Ryan's turn to go for a walkie. It's actually sunny now. I've started packing. Um, it is the last day of Kiso. I'm not jumping until this afternoon. Brian's jumping about 2 o'clock and Brian's jumping at 4 o'clock. So it means a late uh, getting home for us. But we start packing, cleaning everything up, taking, bring, bringing stuff over from the stables. Uh, we're clearing the back of the lorry out now, packing everything. It's looking a bit messy in here now. Bruno definitely wants to go home. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess in here. Just trying to get everything done as soon as possible so that there's not so much to do once I've jumped and we can just leave. So yeah, but fingers crossed for a nice last day of jumping. Brian just jumped me newcomers. I screwed up. Um, very annoyed at myself. He just needs a bit of more support, and I basically just sat there like a twat, um, coming around to one of the jumps and jump off. And he was just a bit like, I don't really know like what you want me to do. Because I went from like being there for him and then I suddenly just wasn't there for him where he's a baby. You just need to constantly support him. So yeah, I'm really annoyed at myself as he jumped clear otherwise. He has had a pole all weekend. He's jumped absolutely unreal, so I can't be mad. But it is just frustrating when things like that happen. So yeah, annoying, but I'm just gonna get Brian ready now for 120. Ryan, leave Luna alone. Leave Tuna. Has he got your lead rope? Guys, he's having a pre ride massage. A bit more impressed, Brian. Yeah, 
We are back and I am knackered. Um, it, everything was a massive rush today. Uh, we literally, I jumped Brian and as soon as I jumped him, mum and Ivar got his ice boots. While he had his ice boots on, we literally was packing everything from outside the stable, clearing the whole stables out, um, took his ice boots off, bandaged them both, changed their rugs and we were off. Like literally took a, hit the both boys and all of our stuff back to the lorry. I held the boys while mum thought we had back of the lorry and we literally just shoved them on and we were gone. Um, I literally didn't jump Brian until half four, um, probably nearly five o'clock this afternoon. Um, yeah, long. We just got home. I've just put the boys to bed, um, put their badges on, changed their rugs and come inside. And yeah, I'm going to have a shower now and go to bed. Um, I thought I'd update you on Brian though. He jumped unreal. Um had the last jump down in the 120 so irritating he his massive weakness is like a big upright as a finished jump he just gets a little bit he doesn't respect uprights especially not as the last jump in the jump off because as soon as he gets into a jump off he gets so hyped up he just loses sometimes a bit of carefulness and it's always the weak our weak spot if it's the upright as the last jump and as soon as i saw that it was a dog leg to a big like meaty upright I was like, great, like if he's gonna have anything down, it'd be this. And he was flying around like over a second faster than the leading time, and the leading time was bloody fast. Um, and he had the last jump down. Um, he just, the seconds last, I turned um, to it and jumped it at an angle, and I kind of screwed myself up in jumping it at an angle because it was dog leg. So then I literally was jumping to the upright straight, um, and he like landed from the second class, which was an oxar, and like, dropped his head and like dragged me um and I just couldn't get him back like I was fighting him the whole way down and I should have just sat there probably he probably would have had a better chance of clearing it if I just sat there and just let him run at it um hoping that he'd back he'd like back himself off but instead I literally just fought him the whole way down and yeah he just got a bit too deep and took it out which is really frustrating um but, I mean, he jumped unreal all weekend. He would have won all three 120s if we'd gone clear. But, of course, it's always an if. Um, he still won the 120 yesterday. Uh, Ryan, obviously, jumped clear all weekend. Didn't touch a pole, um, which I'm really proud of him for. He said he got his first two newcomer double clears for next year. Um, yeah, today was my fault. I just kind of messed up. You can't really see it so much in the video. But, like from a different angle you would have seen it better um but yeah i kind of screwed up a little bit there um which costed us our third newcomer double clear and it being like a full clear round house um but i'm still classing it as a clear round house because he didn't actually touch a pole 
um, he just had a little stop. But um, yeah, overall, really happy with the boys this weekend. They are both knackered. I am knackered. Mummy's knackered. Luna is knackered. Um, first day away show of 2021 complete. And yeah, really happy. Um, I think our next day away show now is Keto again for the international if we get in. So fingers crossed we'll get into that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.